It's a typical school day for these preschoolers, enjoying recess and learning about primary colors. But do you hear the difference? These children are deaf and are being educated bilingually. The California School for the Deaf, located in Fremont, California, is making a difference in helping students adjust to a world of silence. The philosophy of this school is to make sure that all students achieve and master two languages, American Sign Language and English, that they are confident and ready to go out into the world and interact with people and get jobs. CSD helps children feel comfortable with being deaf and provides an environment where they can better understand those around them. That means that they get all the information being taught and being demonstrated. They have full acquisition to language and interpretation and they have the ability to exchange information without checking in for comprehension or clarification. And while the children are learning, families of deaf children must also become educated about deafness and deaf culture. We have developed several services tailored for parents. We offer sign language classes. We also on Fridays have play group where parents can come and network and interact with other families and share their interests, their concerns, and their questions. The support in the early intervention is something that we still need to provide. Parents um, often need to talk to other parents about their experience. They need to meet deaf adults, meet deaf kids. Parenthood provided a great challenge for Rachel Chong, mother of twin girls Cheng Mei and Chang Lin. Cheng Lin's hearing was intact, while Cheng Mei was born nearly completely deaf. I didn't know how to handle it. I had depression, just didn't know what to do with it. After counseling and mainstream schooling, Chong eventually decided to enroll Chang Mei at CSD. She also challenged herself to become involved with her daughter's education by volunteering at the school. She signed so fast that I could not understand. So I felt that I want to lessen or reduce the uh, gap between she and me so when we talk. So I do volunteer every Friday in the classroom. From there, I also find out what's the activity in the classroom, so when we come home, we can do activities, talk about activities in the classroom together. We look at the child as a whole person, and the child feels happy that they finally have a place where they belong. They don't feel different here. They feel the same as their peers. They're all deaf, and the families are really inspired and happy to see their child grow in that way.